Hey team. Hello, Hello everybody. Welcome in. Look how much my hair's pushing out. I think you look cute. Thanks, Bobo. 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 Hi everybody. Hello. Hello. In. All right. Can I have the Oh, you've got it? Hello. Yeah, I'm starving. Hi everyone. Welcome. It's okay. It's all right. Hi, Harley. Hi, Jade. Hi, Tigers. Hey, Zoe. Hey, Cass. Hey, Annalise. How are we all? What's going on, guys? Hey, Georgia. Hi. There we go. Oh, welcome in. It's Monday night. We're here. Hey, Jazzy. We're about to make a red uh, pesto. We've made this one before, risotto, and it's been nice. Yeah, it, it was good. Yeah. I'm good. How are you both? We're doing good. We had a relatively productive day, I feel like. Yeah, it was a bit of a mix, wasn't it? Yeah, we started off really productive and then we crashed really hard. Yeah. Um, we had a nap on the couch at like 1 p.m. And, yeah, now we're here. <laughs> Hey, Melissa, how are you? Welcome. Guys, 121 people kept tapping the screen, guys. Welcome. So he says, I'm having risotto. Oh, my God. Are we twins or what? We always do the same thing on Mondays somehow. Zoe, are like, you doing HelloFresh? I feel like last week you had the same thing as us as well, but you... Emily says, good to see you. I missed you too. We missed you. Guys, if you had a good day, put a uh, green heart in the chat. If you had an okay day, put a yellow heart in the chat. And if you didn't have a very good day, put a red heart in the chat. Chicken and bacon risotto. Oh, you'd love that. That sounds lit. Oh, my God. What is that? A necklace. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I've never, I haven't seen that one before. Melissa had a productive day too. Yay. Beck says, hi, before anything else, how is Duds? Oh, would you guys like to see him? Oh, Let me grab him. He's, he's looking a bit sleepy. Nah, he'll be fine. No, don't bother him because he's nah. funny with our live stream. Nah, he's all right. He's all right, guys. Oh, hey, buddy. That's yeah. really annoying. He's totally awake. Yeah, but he's relaxed. So he's been really thin when we've been live streaming lately. So... Thought we could leave him in peace. See? Say hi, buddy. Poor thing. Say hi, everybody. Hey. He's tired. We just got back from a walk. Bit of a scar face, aren't you, mate? Yeah, he's got his scar on this side of his face. They're like, hi, Dad. Say. He's saying hello. Dad's the man. King. <laughs> Still on medication, so he's a little bit like yeah. different. Um, and he'll be on medication probably for only probably for tonight and maybe tomorrow. Yeah, he's doing good though. Beck says he's looking well considering. Yeah. I think so too. Yeah, no, he's doing great. Dogs recover so quickly. Oh, they're just so resilient. Yeah. Um. All right, I didn't see everyone's heart. So if you had a good day, put a green heart in the chat. If you had an okay day, put a yellow heart in the chat. And if you didn't have a very good day, put a red heart in the chat. Again, sorry, guys. I went swimming today with my daughter. It was great. Oh, Melissa, that sounds fun. Alana says, what's for Din Din? So we're making red risotto tonight. That's what we're cooking. Delicious. What happened to him, if you don't mind sharing, someone said. About oh, that. um uh the his groomers found like a mass on his face and so then we went to vet to the vets to get it checked out and then they said that it was a tumor but it was benign um so it was best to like get it cut out of his face so then he got it cut out of his face yeah it's just been a rough two weeks for him the poor thing yeah because he had to go in first for the biopsy and then again for this like surgery mm. so poor bugger Brooke says, I love your videos. Thank you so much, guys. We've got 246 people on. Welcome in, everyone. Bridge is like, oh, yay. Glad he's okay. I know. Yeah. We love the baby so much. Don't know what we'd do without him. Oh, thanks for the gift. I don't think I could function without him. Actually, I know I can't function without him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Jazz, um, Jazz, Jay, did you ask how I'm feeling about the half marathon? Um, confident, but also a bit nervous because it's going to be killer. But I'm excited to do it. Excited to tick that one off, you know? Yeah. Hey, Jen, how are you going? Chelsea followed the live host. Thanks, Chelsea. Appreciate it. Thanks, Georgia. That's really sweet. And he's like, saw that smirk, Lizzie. I, it, whenever I laugh, it's because I've read one of your messages and it's like, I'm going to answer it. And then if I forget, I forget. But um, Anu, I am turning 26. <laughs> For anyone wondering, uh, and it, my birthday is on Thursday? Yeah, Thursday. Thursday. Guys, is anyone else a cancer baby in the chat? Let us know. There's a few of us already here. They're like Thursday. Thanks, guys. I forget. <laughs> Alessia, your hair looks so healthy and good. Oh, I just literally washed it and got out of the shower. So she's still drying. It'll probably dry really, really fuzzy because I haven't let my hair dry naturally in forever. <laughs> yes, I'm a cancer baby. B-Day was last week. I missed that message. Yes, last week. Oh, happy birthday for last week. Gemini for me. Um, yeah, I'm a Saggy. Yes, my B-Day's in nine days on the 19th. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> That's exciting. Guys, Cancer's the best horoscope sign. Oh, Just going to put it out there. That's a big pull. We rock. <laughs> you guys are cute. I'll give you that much. <laughs> so it says, you two lesbi? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah you know close <laughs> thanks for the gift are you gonna watch any of the world cup games we yes. are we're actually going to one on friday yeah guys tickets? no um oh, okay. i actually need to transfer renee for them okay i forgot she has given me her deeds Anu says, how are you, Taz? Anu, uh, today I'm feeling low energy. I think it's because we went to bed late last night. We were watching Divergent. Really love it. Um, but, yeah, I've been wrecked all day today. James is like, where have you been today? Oh, Bean. Bean. Oh, my gosh. He said he wrote it, where have you been today? <laughs> oh, James. <laughs> yeah. See, as soon as it was the dad pun, I knew who it was. Yeah. You just, you keep them coming, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> Divergent series is awesome. Yeah, so it was kind of worth staying up, but I, I at the same time, I'm We didn't not finish sure. the movie, so we could have just watched it last night. Oh, my God, there's 400 people on. Hi, everybody. Hi. Oh, guys, for those of you who remember us talking about the hot sauce challenge, we're going to be doing it. On the 18th of July, so next week. Yeah, you can put it in the bag. Yeah. So make sure you've got that in your calendars. 18th of July. Um, will you play Mario Kart for Wide Wednesday? Oh, that's a good question. We'll see how we feel. Yeah. I don't know. We might play Zelda again. But yeah. We'll see. We haven't played Zelda in a hot minute. Suss We've the probably vibe. already freaking forgotten everything. The day. To I know. Us. We got a master class and then we've just wasted it. Um, Taz, you have to you have to tell us what you're planning to do for Lessie. No, it's a surprise. You guys will have to wait and see. Brad's like on. Me. Brad's like, I vote for Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, we should like play another round of it. Maybe we could do half an hour of Zelda and then half an hour of Mario Party. Or something. Half an hour of Zelda, we won't be able to do anything. We'll walk like <laughs> two steps. <laughs> Maybe we'll do something. We'll be faster now. Is Taz still plant-based? I've been MIA for a while. Taz is vegan yeah. still. Yeah. Kirli says, I need to see Zelda. Haha, <laughs> if you were listening. Yeah, we were listening. <laughs> but do we remember? That's the actual question. Well, Kirli's probably more ahead of us in the game now. Yeah. So, Kirli, you can help us when we get stuck. All right. So, in the pan, I need to heat some olive oil. Am I doing this in the wok? No. Oh. 
God, no. My B day is in eight days. Oh, happy early birthday. Guys, my birthday is in three. Oh. Okay, Kiralee's been playing a different Zelda. Has been playing Zelda? Yeah, but it's not the one we're playing. Oh, it's a different one. Yeah. Taz, you are growing, Anu says. Wow. I'm not wearing shoes, so maybe you are right. But I feel extra short tonight. No, it's just because the beanie's a little bit plopped up. <laughs> if you push down on it. <laughs> plopped. Oh, heat half the butter. I just put olive oil. Oh, with a drizzle of olive oil. Okay, yeah. How much butter is it? Here's the butter. Um, 40 grams. So 20 grams of butter. Why? It says heat half the butter. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. That's, does this look like 20 grams? Oh my gosh, you nearly put that in my hair. That looks, that's, that's giving 20 grams, do you reckon? Any chefs who could just eye it off? Kiralee said yes, that's good enough for me. Well, you're going to trust Kiralee with yeah. the measurement. Of course. Risky. Um, I can't wait for Lessie's gifts to come. So excited. Yeah, for the next few days, the stuff I'm surprising her with, I'm excited to... Guys, put a purple heart in the chat if you've seen our most recent video. And if you haven't, make sure you go check it out. Cook the onion. Hold on. Okay, I need the onion. A tablespoon's usually 15 grams. So you need okay, cool. I, then I did a little bit more than a tablespoon. Okay. Yep, people have seen the vid. You! Alright, why can't I get it on? I don't know. Okay, I think I cut my finger on that. Oh, we'll also need to like. Can you cut some garlic? I know how uh, slow you are at cutting it. I need it soon. Well, chill. <laughs> Maybe if you ask that, actually. Baby, where is the garlic? Would you so ever nicely cut the garlic for me? Yeah. Well, how, how do you say it? How do you be nice? <laughs> no. How do you just have a human decency? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> All right. Two. Curly says, unfortunately, I have to go back to work. Sad reacts only. Oh, bye. Bye. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your shift. Hey, Casey, sending you love. I hope you're all right. Oh, oh Casey. Oh. That's, That's so horrible. sad, man. Hope you're okay. Guys. Oh, Beck sent parts. Thanks, Beck. Oh, thanks, guys. So, you know how we had those soda cans? Taz found them in a glass. And I personally, I kind of like it better. Mm. I don't know. It's got a bit more of a crisp taste to it. Leslie, have you tried the Baldac noodles? Pink packet? So good. I have not even heard of that. No. What are they? Oh, my gosh. Look at all the Guys, gifts. thank you for the gifts. Wow. Rosie followed the host. Thanks, Rosie. Cooper, thank you so much. Wait, why did everyone gift? Was there like a treasure box? I don't know. I don't think there was a treasure box. Guys, fill us in. Had a double shift today. Oh, Jen, is that your first time doing a double shift? They are chili cream chicken flavor. That sounds... So lit. Where can she get them Can from? someone send me a screenshot? I haven't seen that on my TikTok page at all. Can someone send me a screenshot on the Taz and Alessia Instagram account or something? It's from an Asian grocer. Okay, we've oh, got okay. one near us. Are they noodles? What are they? I think so. You want me to chop these? Sure. 
Sorry, guys. Just yeah, noodles, ramen. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, that sounds good. I'm down. I'll have to give them a go. We kind of haven't eaten noodles in a while. Like yeah, the, I the had quick them. ones. Haven't had them in forever. I'd love to go and get ramen, like, cooked for me. Yeah, I've actually never, had, never it. had it. Um, but I don't know if I can, if there's a vegan joint that does ramen. Mm. There would be. Guys, does anyone know a vegan ramen? Restaurant? Yeah, restaurant. <laughs> it's like, when are we walking next? Oh, that's a great question. Uh, maybe we Wednesday. Yeah, we can do Wednesday morning. Oh, yeah. Brad, Brad text how's, me. How's Wednesday going for you? Um, also, we have an event Wednesday night. The dress code is gold, everyone. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you. I don't have anything gold. The only thing I have gold is my jewellery. So it looks like we're going to be wearing black. <laughs> like, where do we get something gold? Oh, Brad's going to. Oh, my God. Yay. Brad, what are you wearing? Honestly. So he says, so no wide Wednesday. <laughs> we could wire Wednesday. Oh, we could do it during the day. We could wire Wednesday. We could do it during the day, yeah. Which we should be able to. Yeah, I reckon we'll be free to. Yeah. All right. Oh, I forgot there was dress code. Okay, cool. Yeah, I forgot. So too. we're all rocking up in black, black then, <laughs> black with some gold chains. <laughs> um, hey Tegan, how you going? Oh, Tegan's having HelloFresh veg and pork dish. Poor Alessia never gets to try the meat dishes for HelloFresh. <laughs> hey Britt, how you going? We missed you too. What's been happening? Um, we are having red pesto risotto tonight. I'm very excited about it. Um, you can buy me goreng chips now. Yeah, I've seen those, Cass. Oh, Britt, what's happening? What did she say? She said a swear word that I cannot repeat. <laughs> but life is being a bit harsh at the moment. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. She should get a meat one and just eat both the serves herself. True. That just totally wouldn't be fair. But, it's yeah, then I'm paying well. for it as well and not getting anything. I mean, we have, like, chicken in the fridge. She could put chicken in some of the dishes, but she just never feels like it. I think I offered last time. I was like, do you want me to cook you some chicken with it? And she was like, nah. Someone just tried to call me and then Brad texted, so I thought Brad tried to call and I'm like, uh. No, it wasn't Brad. Well, Britt, I hope you're okay. We're sending you love. Feel free to jump on our live streams and come and watch when you just want to forget about things for a little bit. Oh, it'll just be easier if I do No, this. no. Don't you dare do that. Don't. Do what? Don't. Bob, I'm just going Don't. like this. Well, then move. It's so I'll much easier. I'll do it. Move then. Why? I can just you do it. You put the whole stick in. No, I just showed you what I was about to do. You go like oh, that. Oh, yeah, that's what I was doing. Well, you were doing it too slow. I thought she was going to put the whole stick of time in without taking it off. I love time. Happy birthday week, Alessia. Thanks, guys. Breathe, guys. It's only Monday. Thanks, Jade. <laughs> Love, yum. Loved every vegetarian HelloFresh recipe so far. I find they're a little nicer on the stomach too. Yeah, I mean, I can only speak on the veggio and the um, plant-based ones. But honestly, we've been ordering it for over a year now, and I reckon I've not really loved, like, one dish. But it was still, it was still good. Yeah, it was still edible. Everything else I've eaten, I've been like, wow. This has impressed me. And if it wasn't edible, it was our fault. No, like, we've never done it. That's not edible. No, that knocky one. Remember the hard knocky? Oh, yeah. We didn't we cook it right. that up. Okay, add the rice. Where's the rice? It's in a brown packet there. Oh, yeah. Hello, everybody. 239 people. Make sure you tap on the screen. Welcome. Lol, love the ownership, Lessie. <laughs> what did I uh, – um, we, we stuffed it up when, when it was a bad recipe. Oh, yeah. 
You got to, you know. All right, add water. add water and the stock pots. How much water do I add? Water, four cups. All right, four packets of stock pot. I've only got three here. Let me go on the hunt. I'm going to add the water. Oops, sorry, lady. Sorry. Guys, give me a one minute. Someone said, are you two married? No, I'm still waiting for a ring. <laughs> She's so hard done by. Guys, I think we might be going to Europe next year. We're manifesting. <laughs> and by manifesting, we mean saving. <laughs> yes. Put it on the calendar. Jesse's gifts. I got him two Apple AirPods Pro 2 and a PlayStation 5 Pro controller. I whispered that because I was like, I didn't want him to hear. <laughs> I think um, Jess's birthday's already passed. But I was just thinking it's probably passed if you're telling me. Um, so I was like, I want to go to New Zealand next year. Guys, Ooh. where are your travel plans for the next year or so? Nah, he knows it was his B-Day yesterday. Oh, happy B-Day, Jesse. Someone, someone said birthday ring? Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Too early. Um, she reckons. Have HelloFresh given you guys a discount code yet? No, no. We've, we've only got, like, we can give people free boxes when they haven't had it before, but no discount code, unfortunately. Um, bring on the epic Europe content. Amazing memories for you girls. I know it will be some fantastic travel content. I agree. So now you're telling me I have to say for Europe and an engagement ring in one go. Yep. <laughs> That's right. I want to take my mum on a trip because she hasn't been anywhere in like 25 years. Oh, my wow. God. Beck, do it. Do it, do it, do it. I've gone on a trip with my mum and my nan before. We went on a cruise. It's honestly one of my favourite holidays to date. And I've gone to some beautiful places and done some cool things, but nothing beats like those moments with family. Um, and she will love it if she hasn't travelled in ages. My dad's actually travelling soon. He hasn't travelled in a while either, so I'm really excited for him to, to go and see the world. He deserves it. People work so hard, you know, and it's like you've got to enjoy your life too, guys. But the dollar is quite rough at the moment, so it's like oh, all the saving you do, you're going to lose like half of it mm. when you trans. Transfer it, is that convert it, which is kind of annoying. I know. Europe is expensive. <laughs> Taz, I got you, so keep your eyes on the screen. All right, type fast. Can you copy and paste it in again, Jen? Just because my hands are a bit dirty. Um, we need to put these in earlier than it Yeah, tells I'll us. put them in when we, okay. when we actually put them in. Yeah. I got an interview on Thursday for a job. Woo! Let's go, Tills, in Sydney. No, Melbourne. No, because she's moving. She's not moving, Bob. Was that a joke? That was a joke. Oh. She literally wrote on screen after you not guys me literally actually, believe anything, remember? Not me searing it into my brain as real. Um, that's so exciting, Tills. Um, is it a job that you... You know when you apply for a lot of jobs and you're kind of like, eh, mm. don't care about that one? Is it is it a job that you really want? Also, Zoe said that um, she's housed in a place with a spa. That would be nice. Are oh. you going to use it? Love it. Jack says, ha Taz is gullible. <laughs> <laughs> So he said, yeah, it's a job with the government as my contract finishes in September. Wow, good job, Tills. Best of luck. That's so good. Um, Courtney, I would say uh, my family's been pretty accepting. I've, I come from like a Maltese background, so I wasn't actually expecting it. I thought I'd get a little bit of backlash, um, but 
I've been very lucky. Like even my nan is very accepting. I think at the start it was a little bit confusing for my mum and dad um, and they didn't really know how to process it. But over time they became more and more comfortable and now I'm so lucky. Like my dad includes Alessia in everything. Mum and Alessia like go shopping together, like even without me. Like I'm, I'm very lucky but I think give it some time. But also I know not all families are the same. Mm. I've, some of my friends uh, have homophobic family members and it stays that way and it will never change. So it's one of those things that you can only do so much. Um, but I am a big believer in living your life the way that feels most authentic to you and not living for your family members. We love our family, but we have to live our life at the mm. end of the day. So I'm sending you love, Courtney, and um, you'll find you'll find groups of people who are much more accepting as well if your family never come around. Jen says, first double shift, 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. and then 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Oh, wow. Whoop, whoop. Look at you go, Jen. I'm killing it, Jen. How are you feeling? Because I know you were wrecked the first few shifts. But, but you're loving it, right? Yeah, you're doing double shifts now. Um, Summer says, Best LGBT clubs slash bars in Melbourne? I honestly wouldn't know. This would probably be more of a question. For you, do you know? I don't really know many. Taz and I don't often go out to, like, any LGBT clubs. When I was going out, like, every weekend and DJing, I never really went to queer spaces. I was going to just, I don't know, heterosexual clubs. I don't know. Um, I feel like a lot of lesbian clubs play, like, R&B. Mm. And, like, as much as I love R&B, I like a more, like, bassy, heavy kind of music. So I just found I went to the clubs that played the music I liked. I'm going to Bali in two weeks, my first time out of Australia. Oh, Melissa, you're going to have so much fun. Bye, Brit. Um, I'm here for a week. Suggestions for anywhere for, for like, clubs? What does queer actually mean? Sorry, it might be a dumb question. It's, like uh, an umbrella it's not term. a dumb question at all. It's an umbrella term, so it can mean many things. So instead of saying like gay, lesbian, and like including all the names, I like to use queer as just like a space where there are people of different sexualities. Mm. Um, but some people will refer to themselves as queer. But, yeah, basically an umbrella term. It means, like, many things. <laughs> um, anywhere, anything fun. Oh, in Melbourne, there's always fun things to do. Like, if you go to the city, there are so many great food options. Um, also, there's a light show going on at um, the Botanical Gardens at the moment, which is cool. We went last night. Yeah, that was all right. Oh, see, I liked it. Alessia really liked it. I don't know if I'd recommend it. Um... I think there's, nah, I was going to say there was an ice rink somewhere in Melbourne, but I don't know if that's there anymore. I would say try a lot of different types of food um, and, like, do some research before you come on, like, some good food places because Melbourne's known for that. And there's probably some shows on as well, like musicals and stuff. So check that out while you're here as well. World Cup's on. Could watch a game. Go shopping. There's so many shops in Melbourne. What time is it? It is 7, 10 p.m. Can you help me put this in? Yep. All right. What time is it? Oh, what time? does the thing need to be set up? It needs to be at 200 degrees fan forced. Yep. What's cooking? We are making red uh, red risotto, red pesto and veggie risotto. I got water in my ear from the shower. Eating old gold chocolate. Oh, my God. I love old gold chocolate. That makes me want some chocolate. <laughs> Do you know what's so fun about being an adult? Chocolate before eating really annoys me, Bob. Oh, actually, I'll have a mid slice. I know you were about to say that's what you love about being an adult. I love being an adult. That annoys me. 
your parents and your like my mom would always be like, "There's no way I would be able to." No, you're mom. breaking rules right now. What rules? The I'm rules. an adult. I don't have any rules. <laughs> I'm an adult. I'll do what I want. Mm. Okay, so it says. 20 minutes. I'm hungry. I might need to get some hummus. Um, says, I do that, Leslie. Sometimes I have some sweet before and after. Really? Mm. I actually like to go most of the time. Savory, sweet, savory. What do you guys like to do? Do you like to go sweet, savory, sweet or savory, sweet, savory? Because I might go get some leftover bidet cake. Yum. What kind of cake was it? Sit while we wait. Yeah, let's sit. Savory, then sweet. No. I get it, Leslie. If I was eating Pringles whilst cooking dinner tonight. <laughs> no, it ruins it. It doesn't. Do you know what I really like doing? I like eating sweet before I have savory because the sweetness makes the savory taste better. Because you can taste the savory more. And then I like having sweet after savory as well because then you can taste the sweet, but I like to finish on savory because then there's not too much going on in my mouth. You know? Very strategic. You're having a bit here. Now, mm -hmm. I'm I starving. Said, I thought you said it was going to ruin dinner. No, sweet ruins the dinner. You're having savory dinner. Mm. That's yummy. Trying to tell people, hello everyone, welcome. All right, let's sit on the other side. Yep, I'll move the cat out thing. Oh, I finished the soda Don't mind our house, guys. <laughs> oh, we'll need to bring the chairs from the office. <laughs> Everyone's just looking at our lounge room right now. No, oh, oh, that's yours. Okay. I found French onion. Hummus, guys. That's vegan. Do you know how long it's been since I've had French onion dip? I'm excited for this. It's a whole moment. Yeah, I'm keen to try it. When is your B day? So my birthday's on Thursday. Sorry, I couldn't remember. Okay, moment of truth. I'm actually I'm gonna wait for you. Just opening everything. Just eat it. Yeah, I like it. Mm. Do you guys like olives? What are those? What are the red things that are in the olive? Yeah, right. That. Yeah, it's good, right? Yeah. Very nice. These are lemongrass and chili. Mmm. Like, no, I like olives and I hate olives. Olives, nope. No, I love them. Look, I did not like olives for a while. And then when I was in Greece, not Greece, I've never been to Greece. When I was in Spain, they had olives on the table. Mm. And now when I eat olives, I think of being in Europe. So oh. I like them a bit. And it says, no, nope, you couldn't pay me to eat olives. Why? I didn't used to like them too. But... I feel like the older I get, the more my palate matures mm. and I rate them. Ooh. I don't want to eat too much because then I won't eat dinner. Oh, uh, but I'm starving. Uh, I love, oh, I don't know what type of olive that is. Yeah, Kalamata. Kalamata. They're so the says, black ones. Where's the dinner? It's in the oven. 
We have to wait. Did anyone put a timer on for 20 minutes? Okay. Taste plus texture. I'm so picky about food texture. Yeah, fair. I used to hate avocado because of its texture, but now I kind of like it. I can't mm. eat it on its own, though. It has to be with other stuff because, yeah, I don't love the texture. So it says, hi, candlestick. <laughs> Wait, Jen, why are you sore? Settling into the house okay? Yeah, fully settled now. Mm. Feeling good. How long have we been in here now? Three months. Mm. Coming on three months. Oh, Tegan, that sounds so fun. I've gone to an outdoor cinema before and I did not like it because I got attacked by mozzies the whole time. Mm. But that sounds really fun. Have you ever been to a drive-in? Mm-hmm. Have you? Guys, have you been to a drive-in? You have? Mm-hmm. I enjoyed it. We should go. Mm. Oh. In the camera. <laughs> Is Brad in the chat? Let's take the Tessie. Brad. <laughs> we wouldn't be able to fit in, in the boot. You know the Tesla's boots in the front? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, my taste buds definitely have changed. Mm. Okay, I need to slow down. I don't know what I'm saying. No more for me. I get carried away. When there's food in front of me, I'm mm. like, yes, because uh, I love food. Uh, God, I could just keep eating that. Mm. Is this a snack before dinner? Yes, mm. but we have to stop because right otherwise we're going to yeah. be full. And I've already finished my bloody drink for tonight. Now I have to have water. Is Melbourne worth moving to? Yes, 100%. I would say yes. A thousand times over. There's so much to do here. There's lots People of opportunities. People are amazing. It is expensive. Yeah, like it's expensive. Like if you're coming from, I don't know, Canberra. I mean, everywhere's expensive at the moment. Perth. No, but housing is way different in Perth. Mm. Yeah. So it is more. Do you reckon it's better than Sydney? Yeah. Yes. And before Sydney side is attack, mm. I will say – Love Sydney. Sydney is more beautiful looking, I think. But Sydney's more expensive. More than here. expensive. It's more cutthroat. Mm. Like you got to be like on top of your game, work wise. There mm. to get to get like a good paying job, and then you're going to get a good paying job and spend it all in your rent. Yeah. Um. I feel like Melbourne has more like nightlife. Sydney's getting better though. Melbourne has better food too. Uh, I've had good food everywhere. Like Adelaide True. shocked me how good the food was there. That gave mm. Melbourne a run for its money. Um, but, yeah, Melbourne is known for its food. Mm. I just feel like you never get bored in Melbourne. Mm. And Sydney is a close second, but it's just not as known for, like, the art scene. Is it? Sydney? Yeah. I don't think so. I think the Melbourne's shops more known for the arts. The shops great. Yeah. As a Sydney person, like, I'm offended. Sorry. Like, even, like, the shops close, like, super early in Sydney. Yeah. Like, you're just getting started and they're, like, closing. Uh, pe- a lot of people were closed on Sundays in Sydney. And I'm like, come on. Come on, guys. Mm. Open up. My sense, I live in Adelaide and it's so quiet, lol. Nah, I liked it. To be fair, though, when we were there, mm. we were, like, um, our we hotel – looked down on some of the city and it was so quiet it was unreal have you ever been to tassie no never why haven't have you yes oh no what's it like in tassie loved it been to hobart um yeah i really enjoyed it it gives me ballarat vibes but nicer because it's near the water oh okay cool yeah I don't know if I just offended people that live in Hobart or Ballarat, but they it's really, like, nice vibes. And mm. I went to um, the museum in Hobart too and they had a freaking sick exhibition on. It was, like, National Geographic's, like, best images. Mm. Someone said, would you ever be interested in visiting California? No. She'd like it once she's there. I, sorry to our American friends, I have no interest in, like, 
holidaying over in America. You will have to go there at some stage. Oh, I don't know. I don't think I will. You will. <laughs> LA is like, LA is fun. Nah. Everything's so far though. Like in mm. Australia, things are like very much, if you go to this city, like you're going to have all your stores like in that spot. Mm. In America, everything, nothing is convenience. <laughs> like it's just like a petrol station's over there. A shopping blocks over there, a nail salons over there. Nothing is like mm. together for too long. There might be a small block of shops, mm. but that really was hard to live there. Um, I think you would enjoy the novelty of the food. Like you'd go there to like try a lot of food and then you'll be like, please get me back home so I can eat a decent meal. But isn't that what everyone's like? Yes. Yeah. Um I think it would be eye-opening for you too to see a culture that's similar to us but so different at the same time. Mm. Yeah. But, yeah. Sounds fun but scary. Yeah, I think so too, Alana. Like, I'm like, if I wasn't as scared, I'd be open to going, but I'm more scared than opposed, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I think eventually we'll have some work stuff that we'll need to do over there mm. you know mm. by the way you need to get your passport done please yeah i know should try scotland it's close to australia bar the weather really mm. i'd be open to scotland cool. for sure and your driver's license oh. yes anu don't don't go there i'm taz by the way someone asked um <laughs> And Tegan, oh, if the person's in the chat still that was asking about, like, Melbourne, I think Tegan makes a good point that we would have a better public transport system. Would you agree? Mm. Yeah. We do catch a lot of transport mm. in Sydney, though. Yeah. Like, I mean, the can, trams and stuff are better in Melbourne. You can go from the airport to the city. I like that. Yeah, me too. You can't do that in oh, Melbourne. I don't think Sydney's transport's that bad. No. But also, we're not in Sydney. But no trams. They have trams. I didn't really see trams. Compared to Melbourne. Yeah, true. I don't know if that Yeah, Melbourne's so. probably better. Yeah. I realised I was queer recently. I'm 29, um, but only have dated men. How do I start dating? I think the question was. Yeah, I can't scroll. Um, that's a really good question. I think figuring out your, like, queer later, like, when you're, like, out of your teenage years mm. can be like very confusing but I think just be kind to yourself and be patient you might feel rushed to figure it out because you feel like oh my gosh I've lost so much time I need to figure it out quickly but I would just say like steady steady yourself just mm. you know do what feels comfortable for you I mean tinder is a good place to start because it's low um what's it called like you don't you don't owe anyone anything, so you can start talking there. And if your expectations are low, yeah, the expectation like you're not going straight out on a date. You're just mm. talking and seeing you feel like the person. Someone says Hinge is good, so like online apps might be a good place to start, yeah. just to start chatting to someone and yeah. see if you feel comfortable. I didn't realize I liked girls up until I was twenty, and then I was in a relationship till twenty two, and then I came out of that relationship. Thanks, Anna. And I was like, oh, God, what do I do? And I found it really comfortable exploring my sexuality, like, from the distance of a dating app. Yes. Because if it ever feels like if someone's like, oh, did you want to catch up? And you're feeling like, oh, I'm not ready for that step, you can tell them, you know. But mm. if you straight away set up a date or go speed dating or go to a queer bar or something, you're, like, thrown into the deep end of, like, having people approach you. So, mm. um, Cass says, can you do a once you rank, you can't take it with the toxic weight with Stalolis I said, unless he's super sour. I think there's five flavors. Oh, God. <laughs> I'll have to wait and see. Yeah. We've actually got a good one though. We've got some once you rank, it's lined up, but you guys will have to wait till next week because we're going to be posting all of Alessia's birthday stuff this week. Yeah. And then you'll get some more rankets next week. <laughs> um, Greetings from Switzerland. We got more people from Switzerland. Oh, hi, Switzerland. Welcome. <laughs> also, I love your headband. <laughs> <laughs> A 
Alessia's been to New Zealand, but I haven't. Would you guys be interested in visiting Universal Studios? I've been to Universal Studios and I loved it. Mm. And I think Alessia would love it too. How old are you turning, Alessia? I'm turning 26. Hi from Denmark. Hi from Belgium. Oh, my oh. gosh. Let's go. We've got some Europe peeps. Hello, hello. Hey, Maddie, how are you going? We're having red pesto risotto for dinner. So it says, how yeah. did you meet? Taz and I met on Tinder. Mm-hmm. We did. What's the age difference? Two and a half years? Oh, hey, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Two and a half. Two and a half years, I think. And guess who's older? Who is it? <laughs> Decided I'm brushing my teeth and heading to bed where it's nice and toasty. Oh. oh, Beck, that sounds so good. I'm so tired. Excuse me. Everyone calls me the Nana. Can we just say that Beck's going to bed at 7.26? That's all I'll say. Well, she might not be going to sleep. Yeah, still, I would cop it if I said that. <laughs> and then when um, Jada, like, Lessie. <laughs> Beck says, Taz, I won't be asleep for hours. Still, just saying. I'm already in bed. Tilly, oh. exposing yourself. Jade says, I'm in bed. Wait, but Jade, it's, it's like 9.30 there. for you. That's That's fair. Have you been out of Australia, Lessie? Yeah, I have. I have um, been to Hong Kong and New Zealand, Singapore and Bali. So when before Bali, mm-hmm. what was your most recent travel? Singapore? No, because Singapore was on the way to Hong Kong. Okay. Uh, before Bali, overseas would have been, I reckon, New Zealand. Wow. And that was when I was you like were little. 13. Oh, we got to get you out of the country again. No. Yeah, baby. You're going to love it. I don't know, babe. You are going to love it. Did we put the red pesto in? No, but you're not meant to. Oh, okay. I was going to say. That's at the end. Just bake it. Mm-hmm. And then you put it in. There. Oh, cool. Oh, so we need to bake it for about 25 minutes because we already mm. put the beans in. Mm-hmm. Does the sun set quite early in Australia or do you get the light summer nights? In summer, we get the light summer nights. The sun doesn't set till about 8, 39 p.m. Mm-hmm. Um, but in winter, the sun sets at about 5, 5.30. <laughs> A lot of people saying what's for dinner. Guys, we are making a red pesto risotto for dinner. It's just in the oven. So it should be done in, let's see how long. We're waiting. So in two minutes, yeah, that's 20 minutes. Yeah. Do we need to mix it or anything? It will let the heat out if we do that. Yeah. So maybe leave it. I've never had risotto. Matt, you got to try it. It's really nice. Sammy says, when's your birthday, Leslie? It's on Thursday. <laughs> oh, it feels nice having your arm around me, Bob. I love you. I love you. Oh, I'm keen. Maybe we should just leave it in there for an extra three minutes because mm-hmm. that way we don't have to bring it out and put it back in. Yeah. Risotto is delicious. Guys, put your favorite food in the chat. What areas are the best to live in Melbourne? Mm. It depends. Yeah, it really depends. It depends on your budget. It depends on where you work. Like if you work in the city, I get why you would want to live closer to the city because mm. transit every day is a lot but I mean if you don't work in the city there's plenty of really nice suburbs Mm. in literally each direction yeah when I first moved to Melbourne I I lived on oh I lived in Hawthorne Camberwell and I loved it there Mm. loved it and then I've tried west side as well loved the suburbs there too and I've also lived in the CBD, which I also loved. It yeah. really just depends on your lifestyle. Yeah. I personally like living closest to things in my life. So, for example, if I'm going to uni, I want to be, like, closest to the uni. Mm. If I have a job in the city, I want to 
be close-ish to that. So it's like, damn, there's so many places to pick from. Mm. Yeah. And they all have their own vibe too. Yeah, true. Like someone who lives in South Yarra, this is so stereotyping, but someone who lives in South Yarra is very different to someone who might live in Foot, uh, like Footscray or true. Fitzroy or Brunswick. True. There's like different vibes. Places have the different different aesthetic. Yep. Yeah. For sure. He says, oh, I love Brunswick. Yeah, I love Brunswick. Mm -hmm. I think I'm a Fitzroy girl. You reckon? Mm -hmm. What am I? I don't know. I like everywhere. What are you? Okay, at 7.35, we'll take it out of the oven. Three I don't minutes. Know. It says five to eight. And yeah, in five minutes, four minutes. It's like that in Sydney, different cultures mm -hmm. and different suburbs. Yeah. It's quite um, European heavy in the west suburbs and north as well. I don't know what it is in the south east side. Mm. Oh, I'm tired. I'm tired and hungry. This dinner takes too long. I hate it when the other one would too, though, because it was roast pumpkin. Oh. I hate it when there's an element of waiting in a, di in, a, in a dish. I mean, I usually don't mind, but we were hungry tonight. Mm. What time do you usually sleep? Probably about 10, 10.30. Yeah. But we went to bed at bloody 12.30 last night, which mm. is extremely late for us. Mm. Anytime you go over 12, midnight, you just ruin it. Mm. You ruin it for yourself. Oh, someone says, how often do you guys order food in? Mm -hmm. Too Probably. much. I mean, at the moment, like, we haven't ordered. I mean, I have. But we haven't. But we I would probably say lot. about twice a week. But, see, this is the thing, right? Before I met Alessia, I, I would count going out to eat and ordering in to eat as the same thing. You're spending money for someone else to cook for you. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we haven't ordered in in a while, but we've been to, like, three dinners recently. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's true. You you eat out at every chance you can get. 100%. Like she if has, I do not have to cook, she, I don't want to. She has no um, – I've never seen you hesitate. No, as soon as you're like, let's order, I'm like, sweet. Yeah. Done. Or like if you're out and you're hungry, there's no part of you that's like, oh, I'll wait till I get home. No, that that does not exist. Whereas for me. I'm like, oh, I gotta weigh it up. The only time is it it exists is if I'm waiting for payday and I'm like, mm, I might be pushing it if I order here. Right. But that's I might just be like, oh, I'll just pull it from my savings. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, guys. I love a good meal. Do that. I love a good meal. Nothing is worth pulling from your savings for a bun me. It's worth it. No, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> what do you want? Do you, I, I love do you want food. to go to Europe? Yeah, but I just put it back in there when I get paid. That's not how savings work. Like you're just always going to be at the same no savings. If I take twenty dollars out, I'm av and I put a hundred dollars into my savings every time I get paid. Then I put one hundred and twenty in. It's like a loan from myself. No, that's Guys, fine. come on! Surely someone backs me up in the chat. Oh, thank you so much for the high Julys. Yay! Anu says, I do that. I feel like I'm backing you. I do that all the time. I agree. That was a bad saving habit. That is not a bad saving habit because yes. you're saving the same amount each. No, it's, tell it's teaching yourself that you can touch your savings for something as small as a meal, like eating out. Like that's a, that's, but, you don't need to do that. It's not putting food But you're saving. putting, to but eat. you're putting. It's literally putting food on the table. Yeah, but it's but you know what I mean? It's no, not yeah. you're in survival and you need to eat to pull from your savings. It's oh, I feel like this. Nah. Guys, don't listen to her. No. Nah. 
<laughs> Anu says, Taz, you only live once, babes. <laughs> yeah, so you can spend your money on little things or you can spend it on the things that you really care about. Courtney says, I have my savings that I do not touch and then I have my spending savings. <laughs> yeah, that See, looks- that's where I'm weak. Any savings is a savings I could pull from. No, that's not the process of savings. Who came up with this process and why is it law? It's not law, obviously. Then why does it matter if I do that? Because you'll never reach your savings goals. You yes, will. I will. No, you won't. Yes, I will, because I'm still saving the same amount that I would save every week. Only I'm just All putting right, guys, $20. We're saving for Europe. Let's see how she goes. I'll be fine. If you think you can save for Europe without making any sacrifice to your day-to-day life, you're probably kidding yourself. No, nah, I can do it. <laughs> Easy. Good luck to you. Jen says, lol, my savings aren't savings. <laughs> yeah, they're not savings at that point. They're just spending. You're just spending money. I don't think you, you understand got, what I'm saying. You've got two accounts for spending. One is labelled savings, <laughs> and that means nothing to you. <laughs> Matt just chucked in the Taz. Taz doesn't believe in Alessia that she can save. After hearing that, no. What do you mean? I've already saved, I'm not going to say how much, but like for your engagement ring plus my own savings. Yeah. And <laughs> and you'll take from that to get a bar to me. <laughs> yeah, and then I'll put it back when I get paid again. No, What's the big no. deal? No. We're not on the same page. No, we're not. Isabel says, Team Alessia. (laughs) Tazzy, she'll be fine saving. If she can commit on Maccas, she can do it. Believe in her. Thank you, Jade. Believe it when I see it. Well, then. I'll see you next year. Believe it when you see me. I was about to swear then. Is that what you're going to say? No. I was going to say something else, but I won't say that. Lisa says, I'm on your side, Leslie. I'm literally the same. Why are you reading out everyone on your side? What, because no single, one's on your side. What about YouTube? Not a single person. No. Nah. Okay, guys, does anyone is anyone on Taz's side? Speak now, forever hold your peace. If that's the case, I'm scared. Okay, Beck Box is on your side. Thank God, yeah. That's literally it. <laughs> Beck, it's just me and you. Oh no, Andrew is Taz. Taylor's with Taz. They were just Brittany scared. is Team Taz. They were scared to speak. Okay, yeah, they were. <laughs> Emily says you should write a book about this method, Alessia. Look, I'm not a financial <laughs> advisor. <laughs> I'm not saying it's the right way. I just don't think there's a right way to save. You're there's wrong. no right or wrong way to save. You're wrong. But I'm not. There is a wrong way to save. No, there's not. You're I'm not- saving the exact same amount. Like if I say I'm going to save $100 a fortnight okay. and I have done the 52 weeks in a year, I will have the exact same amount regardless of if I've pulled for that $15 mark barn me because – I will actively put the money back in that I've taken out. No, you can't convince me. Well, then have fun saving your own way and I'll have fun saving my way. (laughs) (laughs) Havana's on your side too. No, guys. (laughs) Joe goes... 15 bucks for barn me. You guys know what I mean. No, it's probably close to that if you get a drink with it. But I don't. I just get the barn me. My barn me is $10 because it's the crispy pork. Yours is nine because it's not. <laughs> <laughs> the one time it's cheaper to be me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You should do more running with Taz training for the marathon. He <laughs> he. I probably won't be running with Taz, to be honest. I'm getting into the higher distances now, so yeah, tricky for her. She could come on a recovery run. 
Yeah, recovery run. Yeah. Your recovery runs 10 kilometers, oh, mate. That's 7K. Okay, yeah, I could do seven. And it's just comfortable pace. We should go for a run soon. Agreed. You and me together forever. What's that off? Um, Monster Zinc. Looks good, Bobble. Is it cooked? I don't know. Hopefully. Leslie, you could ride a bike while Taz runs. Uh, I don't own a bike. <laughs> she can't ride one. <laughs> That's funny. I'm sleepy, guys. I am sleepy. All right, there we go. So it says buy one. It's that simple. What if I don't want to spend my money there? Want to buy? Mm. Why not? You spend it on everything. <laughs> Just pull from your savings. There's a difference pulling 200 from your savings than pulling 15 bucks. Starts with 15. And then you'll see. Oh, those are some cool shoes. And then you'll see. Oh. I might spoil myself and buy a camera or a laptop and then bang. Taz, some of us have self-control. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Do you know what willpower feels like? <laughs> no. <laughs> Does anyone Gen Z know? <laughs> Isabel says, what's your skincare? Because your skin looks so good. Thank you. Um, I just use a lot of CeraVe and um, The Ordinary at the moment. <laughs> what would Taz do if down the line? Amina, this just isn't a question. What would Taz do if down the line you say you want to experiment with straight guys? You, <laughs> that, that just wouldn't happen. If you said that. I don't know. They said your name. If I said that to you. We would break up. We'd break up. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not willing to change our relationship structure. <laughs> you know? Like, yeah, but let's be real. I'm... Only into girls. Yeah. Well, I feel that way? Like, am not into guys. It'd be like a shock to go from a monogamous relationship to like poly. Yeah, for sure. People would do it for sure, but I just don't know if I would be open. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a Cancer. Taz is a Sag. Mina goes, even if it was a one-time thing, because you weren't, um, weren't you bisexual? Is that Taz? Taz is pansexual. We've both had opportunities to be with other people. So I would feel like, like in terms of before we met each other. Yeah. So I feel like I would be like, no. Yeah, no, nah, I'm sweet. Like you've had boyfriends. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, like if Taz came to me and she's like, oh, just once, I'd be like, <laughs> no, you can go. <laughs> I'd say let's look into couples counselling. Like, what's what do I? What, yeah, what do you need? What what's are you going on here? Yeah, you know? like, yeah. Do you not feel sexy around me? Or, I don't know. Like, there might be something deeper going on. Yeah. Marie says, I'm wondering, is the skincare brand The Ordinary good? I mean, I only use their uh, hyaluronic acid serum uh, and I like it. So I don't know. One yes. product does not determine well, an entire brand. Use two to three of the other products that you like. That's use. true. Yeah, I do like their squalene uh, cleanser as well. And I use the bluish one. What was that for? Oh, that was the copper serum. That yeah. was all right. Yeah. Sounds like Leslie's savings is savings and emergency funds, but Taz uses savings for goal only. Correct. Neither right or wrong. Thank you, Tegan. Yeah, I love that actually. But how do you 
how is she meant to get to her goals? What do you mean? Because it, By savings. No, but it's actually not just emergency savings because you were saying you would spend it on a bar me, which in my opinion is not an emergency. Did you put the cheese in it? Yeah, but I'm going to give you more. And Yum. Here. And also this. <coughs> and also some chili. This is what it looks like. Delicious. Oh my god, does look like another dog then? I was like, what dog is in our house? Hey, King. And then your pharmacy. All right. Yum. This looks good. Thanks, Jen. Sorry, I was probably triggering everyone about the savings thing, but I'm just a bit more stubborn about it. Taz is very um I'm disciplined. Disciplined. Yeah, that's the word I was. And I feel like people aren't really disciplined anymore. I mean, a lot of people are, but there's a lot of people who aren't. And I would people. classify myself as one of those people who are not. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm not disciplined and I love living my life that way. It kind of pains me. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever will be, will be. And if I can't do it, I can't do it and it's my own fault. <laughs> you can do anything, though. That's the thing that annoys you me. You can do anything if you're disciplined, for sure. Yeah, that's what I mean. Mm. Meh. <laughs> oh. I was just kidding. <laughs> Put your arm around me. <laughs> I literally was just reaching. So it says, I absolutely love when's the next wardrobe change. We're not posting um, that content until next week. Yeah. This week we're posting birthday content. Oh, sorry, that's. You can tell you're passionate about it, Taz, which is why you will reach your goals. Thanks, Emily. It's just sometimes there is a time in life for freedom and flexibility. And then other times there's a time for focus and being disciplined. Yeah. I think having a balance of both is, like, good. Mmm. Mm. This is yum. Yeah, this is good. Tegan, literally. Life, Life tips. tips by Taz. If you guys listen to the weekly reminders, <laughs> you get them every week. Susan says, chew the food, come in 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. I'm keen. <laughs> this is good. Mm. Someone says, what's your biggest ick about each other? I do, Taz does not have a single ick. My biggest ick about Alessia is that she takes from her savings account to get bun me. <laughs> No, nah, she doesn't. She we is. Actually have kids for each other. Taz is actually perfect, guys. I will tell you that much for free. <laughs> she is perfect. I can't describe it to you. Do you need to go out, buddy? Oh no, you're just there. Mm. Do you need to go outside? No, you don't need to go outside, do you? I'm more like Alessia, but I would want to be more like Taz, if you get what I mean. I know what you mean. I would love to be more disciplined as well. The thing is, I think a lot of people do. Like, we all look at people who have achieved amazing things in their life and think, oh, I could never do that. I could never run a marathon. I could never buy a house like that. I could never own a car like that. You can, guys. You really can. It will take sacrifice. Like, nothing is done easy. I think people just prefer to do the easy thing. Mm. But I love like doing the easy thing. I've been lucky enough to be born in the way that I enjoy challenging stuff. So, Alana, oh, sorry. Yeah. Alana says, My ick with my partner is his loud breathing and snoring. Okay. <laughs> See, Taz snores and breathes loud too. But when that happens, genuinely, I'm like, Oh my God, she's living. And I love it. I mean, it oh, does no. annoy me a little bit, but I more love it than I hate it because I'm like, she's alive. That is so cute. <laughs> That's the most wholesome thing. 
I love you. I love you. But yeah, look, if it kept me up, I'd have a problem. <laughs> We will all be concerned on the day Taz stops snoring. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that is fact. I'm waiting for your honeymoon stage to end, <laughs> but I see no ending inside. <laughs> it's been three years. Look, it definitely has changed. Mm. Um, I used to definitely look at some of the things she'd be like, oh, that's so quirky of you to do. And now I'm like, for God's sake. Damn woman. <laughs> but she really does that. <laughs> My favourite thing to be calling Alessia out on at the moment <laughs> what? is the toilet roll debacle because she publicly shames me about this. <laughs> she has branded me as someone who does not change the toilet paper when it's come to an end. And I've just been saying, oh, do you want me to point it out to you as soon as it happens? And she's like, yeah. And then bang, 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 bang. You never switch the toilet paper. So she called me out twice. She's putting the blame on me, guys. But really, she is the problem. <laughs> but she genuinely thought it was me. <laughs> like, she genuinely thought until I started telling her. And now you're like, oh, maybe it is me. <laughs> I'm the problem. How's the grass mat going that you made dubs? <laughs> no. In terms of how long it lasts, I would probably say the first one that I watered, mm -hmm. it could have lasted if I continued to water it. Mm. Didn't it last a month? It lasted about, a, yeah, it lasted about a month and a half. Then this current one, I didn't water it at all. Mm -hmm. It probably lasted about three weeks. Mm. But it's currently dead out there. Yeah. And Dudley just goes on dead grass. We need Because I need to get a new one. We need to switch it. But I think it's good. Like a month mm. or a month and a half is good. Yeah. Lizzie says, you're such a loving couple. Oh, thanks. We Lizzie. are most of the time. We're very loving. It's We're still honeymoon vibes. But this isn't honeymoon vibes. I'm like this, bub. Oh, that's the best. So get used to it. Yeah, I love it. We just love love. Well, I love love. Me I don't too. know about you. I love love. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Jared. <laughs> yeah, don't tell Brad. Did Taz have braces? Her teeth are perfect. Mm, I have braces. Mm. It was a really clever idea. Yeah, I think um, at first I was a bit like, oh, this is so much effort mm. for just some grass pea mats. But I think it's worth it for him. Mm. Yeah, they worked well mm. and he understood it. Uh-huh. Mm. So. Do you want more? No, full. I'm getting brace, uh, getting springs in my mouth next week for my braces. I'm mm -hmm. stressed. Are they like the the bands? No, bands are different to springs. I had oh, a spring. Spring. Mm. It's like they're not the worst. I don't have a spring, but sometimes my cheek got caught in it. Oh. I sold my British short hair yesterday. My kids were so sad. I just felt like it was too much of a commitment. Aww. Is that a dog? British short hair. It sounds more like a cat. Oh, okay. Kind of like bands, but metal. Mm. Oh, my gosh. That's intense. A lot of says it's a cat. Oh, that's sad. Yeah. But it's like you're doing what's best for the cat, you know? Mm-hmm. It's hard to do, but it's right. Mm -hmm. Someone says, when did you realize you liked girls? We actually did um, a couple videos on this. If you click the playlist on the top of our page that says, I think it's called LGBT with a little rainbow flag, 
um, our stories are there and it goes through when we realize we like girls and the story behind it. Need more on YouTube. Feels like a solo chat. <laughs> it is nice, isn't it? I like the pace of YouTube. Mm. I might get a little bit more. That was nice. Yeah, do it. You don't want? No, I'm full. I'm full, guys. You My love baby's me? full. It's like you love me or something. Oh, yeah, it is like that. Tegan has your own solo chat just oh. on YouTube. <laughs> hey, Taz, yeah. on a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you love me? 11. Is that it? <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Not the mint slice to finish I've it off. I've already had three today. Nah, I'm actually... See, now you've ruined your dessert. What? Go on, have one for dessert. No, because what if I want my chocolate cake later on when chocolate we watch cake. a movie? Oh, we're watching a movie? Yeah. Divergent? Yeah. The second one. It's not called Divergent, it's called something oh, else. Oh, really? I yeah. like that name. <laughs> I'm so full. Pulls out mid slice. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> oh. This is why when you date women, it's very difficult to understand sometimes. Because they will say one thing, but they mean another thing. Do I do that? Do I say one thing and I'm really meaning another thing? Sometimes. Really? Yeah. It's interesting. You, I do it a lot more than you. Yeah. What's your favourite thing about me? <laughs> I want to hear how much you love me. <laughs> It's been the same since I met you. It's your eyes. Oh, that's nice. Mm. Unless it has an aura about her. You guys might pick up on it watching her on stream. But just her energy that she gives off is, it's like the most pure and beautiful energy you've ever seen. It's like white light. That's how I describe it. You're cute. And she's like that in person too. Oh, I'm blushing now. <laughs> I just love you. I, I love can't you. look at the screen. I love you in every way. It's sickening. I love you. Hi, Matilda. Jared's like, also chaotic energy, yes. That's like, that too. guys, we need a trigger warning for the loveliness. <laughs> Emily, that's true. Jen says, I thought you were full. I was, but then when it sits in front of me, I just like to pick it. Guys, I've been getting pains in my chest. Mm. But, like, all around, not in one spot, which makes me think it's, like, a muscle thing, mm. not, like, a heart thing. What side's your heart on? Left? The left. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why you have to keep an eye on it. Hey, Linny. Mm -hmm. No rookie moves here, Tegan. <laughs> always room. Yeah, always room for dessert. But... Are you serious? Yeah, I love the lemon, Bob. This is not the first time I've done this. This is, you didn't even squint or anything. Yeah. It did hurt my lips a little bit because they're kind of chapped. We should do a teammate event or private live of our assumptions about you because I have some. That would be actually fun. I would do that in a private live. Can Okay. Can we do a one a little, a couple now? No, because it's it's personal stuff. Like they would have like deep assumptions. And I feel comfortable telling them about it. <laughs> but would I feel comfortable telling 200? Oh, but now I want to know. Oh, well. That's so interesting. You guys would have so many assumptions about us that just aren't true. You know what I mean? True. Taz could be gallbladder issues. Also, Texas, really? Okay, I'll do two of them for funsies. <laughs> well, These are probably have... your most burning. She's two. got a list. Don't ignore the pains. My uncle thought it was a pulled muscle. Ended up with cardiac arrest. Go da, on, da, tell da, my dad because if my dad knows, he will be like checking on me every day. Have you gotten a check? Have you gotten gone to the doctors? <laughs> Jared says, Taz secretly hates caps. <laughs> 
So Beck's assumption is Taz is more cuddly and Alessia is funnier. Ooh. Ooh. I'd say that's true. <laughs> wow. What? You think I'm more cuddly than you? Oh, I'm pretty cuddly. She is but very cuddly. You're cuddly. No, I'm not. I get into moods. But I would say consistently you are. Consistently, I like being, like, I like touching. More affectionate. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the funny one. <laughs> you going to claim it. You claimed that too quickly. I'm claiming it. I think I'm funnier. What? <laughs> Do you? <laughs> I mean, I think you're hilarious. I think you're hilarious too. Thank you. But I think I have more one-liners. That is bull. I do. That is bull. Actually, you probably have more one-liners and I'm probably just chaotic and it's funny. <laughs> like I do most random That's shit. true. Yeah. Depends what you would classify. Depends what you think is funny. Yeah, like you guys wouldn't find what I just thought. To, like it's always inside jokes. Yeah. But like I'll I'll pull out a one liner that would just be perfect <laughs> for the situation. <laughs> oh, see, I've got a pain again. No, you need to get that looked at. It's not good. No, it's just like a muscle thing. Mm. Well, Alana says Taz hates Lessie gaming. Only you can confirm this. <laughs> oh, okay. So I enjoy when she games on her own like plays Animal Crossing and she's in her own world and she's streaming with you guys, whatever. When we're co-gaming together, hate it. Mm. Hate it. M says, I think, I would say Taz has quicker wits. Yeah, actually, I would probably say that too. You probably think it, you just shut it down. You know? Mm. Essentially. Mm. She's good with um, memes. Like, if you say something, she'll think of, like, a song in a movie or, like, a line <laughs> from a movie, whereas I'm, like, I don't have, like, a vocabula vocabulary just, like, waiting in my head. Um, yeah. When's the marathon? It's in September, I think, which is really soon. Mm. I don't know if I'm going to be ready in September. You'll be ready. I've got no choice. I believe in you. Lacey followed the host. Thanks, Lacey. Welcome. Beck says, um, before we have to do this with teammates, do a teammate thing. It will be so funny. I'd like about would the teammates like it? I guess but so. Like to go for a whole hour, you'd need to submit a lot. Hmm. <laughs> Side note, Taz looks like she would be better to cuddle. Oh! Like as the little spoon or the big spoon. <laughs> I'm a good cuddler, right? Yeah. I'm a bit bony here. So if your head's here. But my head's never there, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's trying to do a one-liner. You're trying to take my place, baby. <laughs> It's where it counts. We had a <laughs> stop showing off. <laughs> um, we had a good cuddle on the couch today as we had a nap. We haven't napped on the couch yet. That was our first time. Mm, that's true. And we cuddled up. It was, it was nice. cute. I liked it. Yeah, you were very comfy. <laughs> Pardon me. Taz, what do you rate Drake? 10 million out of 10. What? And you said you only <laughs> loved me 11 out of 10? What is this? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was like, ha oh, ha. It's like. <laughs> okay, time to read, I think. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That was some good risotto. Yeah, lots, wasn't it? Who's more sarcastic? Taz. Really? Yeah. 
Are you ever sarcastic? Not really, no. You're never sarcastic. Oh, my God. True? You're never sarcastic. I wouldn't say never. I can't recall a time where you were sarcastic. I can't really either. Wow. Hmm. Bye, Beck. Bye. I'm always sarcastic. People don't know when I'm serious. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like there's heaps of people who will yeah. love a good bit of sarcasm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm actually mind blown blown a bit. I never really thought of that. Hmm. But yeah, I, I think I am a bit sarcastic, but in when I'm annoyed about something. Mm. Trixie says, who causes more arguments and who apologizes first? Well, currently I'm the one causing arguments. You apologize first. And no I also what. apologize first. To be honest. Yeah, I've always apologized first. There might have been one time where I apologized. <laughs> I'm learning. And I'm actually stubborn. No, you're not. Yeah, I would say I'm stubborn. Stubborn is me. Not apologizing. True. But I always feel like I'm not in the wrong. So I feel like she should apologize, but then I guess that's what she feels from me. Mm. So love that. <laughs> I think I this is my version of apologizing when we like kind of go our separate ways because when we have an argument, we like Bleh, for a bit and then move out of the room. You know, we kind of get away from each other. This should be good. And then after some time has passed, I'll like open the door and be like are you all right like what are you doing like it's not talking about the argument but I'm trying to like I miss you <laughs> but I won't say it <laughs> and then she'll look at me sad and then we'll we'll chat we'll chat and then you usually apologize <laughs> but you just said you've been starting it yeah, I've been starting the arguments more recently. So then you should apologize, right? I mean, more recently, but I've I've known you for three years. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Anyways, it's not always. It's always both people's problem, you know what I mean? Mm. And we get to that in the chat, mm. but you always seem to be apologizing first. Yes. I like I can I feel like I can get over the stubbornness a right. bit quicker, you know? Yeah. I'm like, oh, just do it. Mm. That's how it feels. Yeah, because it's not worth it. It's not worth holding on to. Mm. I really do struggle to apologise to my partner too. It's just never coming out of my mouth. Do you ever just sit there and you're thinking it and you're like, apologise, just do it, like just get it over and done with, and you physically like cannot. No, those thoughts never come into my head. Sometimes. As a stubborn person. This is what it feels like. Cool, I'll just wait till she realises that she was in the wrong <laughs> and says sorry. Oh. I do get the feeling of, oh, I probably shouldn't have said that. Like that was a bit nasty of me. Mm. You know, like you get that that bit of guilt. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Mm. I'm trying to change. I say sorry once once we talk, though. Yeah, once I've apologised, she'll apologise. And it's a genuine apology. It's yeah. not like fluff. No, something you're really good at is taking accountability. Like, I'm ready to do it. Sometimes you I won't just... do it first, but you do do it. And it's because I just, I get to hear from your perspective what happened. And then I am like, she didn't mean it. You know? <laughs> okay. I'm apologising because you stuffed up. No, this... <laughs> no, but when it's like heated, don't you feel like you're annoyed? Yeah. So like you don't want to apologize. No, of course not. So how do we apologize? <laughs> I don't actually know. We do though. We get there somehow. We do. And we're doing all right, guys. Yeah, I'm very happy. Yeah. We don't fight enough to know good tactics about apologizing yeah <laughs> oh i just accidentally hit someone's name so sorry all righty guys we're gonna jump off the live now i'd like to cuddle my girlfriend mm. yeah we're gonna watch a movie together 
Mm-hmm. Probably eat some chocolate. Mm-hmm. And go to bed. All Hopefully right. Hopefully an earlier one tonight. Yes. Than last night. Definitely will be earlier tonight. All right, guys. Tune in tomorrow for Alessia's next birthday surprise. Yes. Can you guess what sense it's going to be? Is it going to be smell, taste, touch, hearing? We'll find out tomorrow. We will find out. Hit the follow button. We'll see you then. <laughs> uh, go check out our recent video. Okay. Bye, guys. Love you. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>